Okay, here we go. Okay, you are listening to Laura's blog. Okay, I was going through my husband's stuff. Well, and um, I came across this pamphlet. It says going back to civilian life. And that was that intro page. And it has a nice, pretty little uh, eagle on it on the front. Um, you got to think this is a pretty old pamphlet. And it's almost, well, you can see the age on it. Okay. This pamphlet, and I'm sorry, I don't read out loud very well. Uh, this pamphlet... Uh, surmises WD pamphlet number 21-4 20 August 1945 so August the 20th 1945 included P, uh, C1 16 November 1945 so November the 16th 1945 ND pamphlet N A V P E R S 15110 August 1945 Marine Corn Pamphlet N A V M C 1026 P D August 1945 and Coast Guard Pamphlet N A V C G 142 August 1945 Going back to the civilian life War and Navy Department February 1946 And that was just the title page Okay Here we go It says The nation salutes you Our country was founded by men and women like you who were willing to fight for its freedom. It had remained free because when we need, when the need arose, new generations were willing to fight and if necessary to die for what they loved. By your service in this war, you have done your share of uh, safeguard liberty for yourself, your family, and the nation. You have helped to preserve the liberty for generations to come. This booklet is for your guidance. It gives several sources of information to assist and assistance for you. Numerous privileges numerous privileges are mentioned they are for are yours you have learned them just as you have earned the respect and gratitude of your fellow citizens when you return to duties and responsibilities of civilian life you take with you the good wishes of those who were in the service with you you can always be proud that you were once a member of the american armed forces and then it has dwight d eisenhower chief of staff army uh, cw nesbitt chief of naval operations u.s navy a.a vandergriff uh, commanded U.S. Marine Corps and J.F. Fawley commanded U.S. Coast Guard. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay. And then it says how to use this booklet. This booklet was given for, was written for you. Its purpose is to help you to get Excuse me. Yourself established again as a civilian. It won't answer all the questions that might arise because there are too many laws and regulations affected vet, 
affecting veterans in, to include in this small booklet. Instead, it gives you the more important facts and tell you where you can go for additional information. It will be to your advantage to read this booklet through, through carefully now. When keeping it handy place, uh, keep it in a handy place for future reference. Oh yeah, this is big time future. Like almost 80 years. Okay. If you don't happen to be in a mood for reading, your first impulse may be to throw it away. It may, don't make that mistake. Put it away in a safe place for the days when you are looking for the answer to a particular tough problem. It will pay you dividends. There are pages in there are pages at the end of the book on which can help you that can help a con convict Okay, this word, um, I get this way sometimes when I'm reading out loud. Uh, convent, convented, okay, C-O-N-V-E-N-I-E-N-T, personal record of important numbers, dates, and addresses. Uh, my brain sometimes go faster than my mouth. And then it's got, and that was page one in the booklet. Then it goes to a blue um, page that says going home. And then there's a nice, beautiful illustration here of soldiers in their respective uh, services. Okay, then it goes right here. It says, put your affairs in order. When you enter your, entered the service, you were wise. You were wise if you made sure that your civilian affairs ha were taken care of before you put on a uniform. Now that you are about to leave the service, it is equally wise to see that your military affairs are in order. These are usually matters of routine, but importance just the same. Turn in clothing and equipment that must be returned to the supply officer. If you owe money at a club, mess, library, or other facilities, see that the bills are settled. Turn over any public funds or property for which you are responsible. If in doubt, your commanding officers, officer will put you straight. Doing these things will save you trouble in the long run. And that had the, it was big fun. Put your affairs in order. Okay. The next in a big fun is says, your mail. It is possibly it is possible that for some time after your separation from service, your mail will continue to be delivered to your last military or naval address. To eject, to make sure that it is sent on to you as quickly as possible, file the address where you want your mail to be your mail forward with the postal officer at your last station. Do not have your mail sent to you at a separation center or reception center. You will you would not be there long enough to get it. You will uh, not you will not be entitled to use 
the free mail privileges, the free mailing privilege after you're separated from active duty. Interesting. Okay, and then uh, that was that paragraph, and then there's another one. It uh, starts a new paragraph with a big title. Your bonds. If you have any questions about bonds which you purchase by allotment, write the write to the service in which you serve as follows: Army, Army, Army Central Adjustment Office, four three zero zero. Goodfellow Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri. Navy Field Branch, Bureau of Supplies and Accounts, Bond, a Bond, Incessing Division. The Bond thing is in uh, parentheses. Uh, Navy Department, Cleveland, fifteen, Ohio, Marine Corps, War Bond. Insuring, issuing, uh, that's that word, issuing officer, headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps, Washington 25, D.C. Coast Guard, uh, commanded, U.S. Coast Guard, Washington 25, uh, D.C. And then that was page five, four and five. Okay. Now we go to six and seven. In your letter, put all information you have about the numbers and value of the bonds in question. The date and where you bought them, the service in which you served, organization and station or ship at the time of purchase, and your name and serial your name and serial, service, or file number. A helpful record is the next paragraph. During your final processing time this, uh, from the service, you will be interviewed and given a record. A uh, print of uh, Quote, uh, parentheses, Army WD AGO Form 100 Separation Qualification Record, uh, semicolon, Navy and Coast Guard, the de description of, of mm, rating booklet and form, uh, Navy. Purse in A V P E R S five five three or Nave in A V C G five five three semicolon or Marine Corps form N A V M C seventy eight dash P D in the uh in the uh parentheses. Uh, prepared for you. In this record of your of your civilian and military training and work experience, and shows those civ civilian jobs to which your training and experience is not related. It is for your use to get a job in getting a job or applying. For training. In addition, informa in addition, information about jobs, training, and opportunities is available through individ individual interview. You will be told what agency in your community can be of service to you, along with these lines. Um. Uh, what's really cool is this is uh, I think if this is either both his grandma and his uh, his grandpa 
But I know Grandpa Paul did go to uh, Japan. And that's where I got some of the, these little pictures of Japan. Okay, you are listening to Lore's blog. And uh, we'll be back in just a minute.